What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Gaming Channel. I am AJ Gels. Guys, we are back with more Mass Effect Andromeda. We are going to be helping out our buddy Drac in this uh, A Future for Our People mission. This is, um, where is it? There we go. We have to go over here, and uh, we're going to, this is going to uh, take us to a new planet we haven't been to yet. This is Elodin. It's, um, kind of like Eos. It's another desert planet. It's, if you ask me, it was kind of lazy. It was, it was kind of lazy to come up with. There's pirates all over this region. You'd think we'd run out of people to steal from. You know, that we that we have Eos and then we have Elodin. They're both basically the same thing. I don't know. I mean, if, if you're going to have, like, six actual explorable planets... Um, I mean, I also think it's complete. Why do you have all these other planets in these clusters when really they're completely useless? All right, let's see. Uh, obviously, we're gonna bring our buddy Drac. Um, eh, why not Cora? I don't think I brought Cora out for a little bit. Sam, send Callow the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac, we're landing on Elodin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. I will gather what information I can, Pathfinder. Alright, there's a lot of there's a lot of, you know, fun stuff as always, you know, when landing on a new planet and we'll uh we'll do those in some other videos, but this one we're gonna uh kinda focus in on uh helping out Drac. So we'll do some uh do some more exploring probably in the next one. It's, uh, I don't know. That's just if you were expecting a uh, more in-depth bunch of quests or whatever. Because there's some there's some cool stuff because there's a uh, Krogan colony on this planet. There's some cool quests tied to that. But uh, eh, like I said, we'll be doing that in, uh, in future videos. Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. Look at this place. The colors are stunning. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. I'm seeing a lot of brown. It's all sand. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. It's called on the forward station. I detect above normal temperatures. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. It's a fair exchange. Stop shushing. Are you Jorgal Strux? Maybe. You are 
I think you are. I'm the Pathfinder from the Nexus. You asked me to meet you here? Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Losing the Krogan was a big deal to a lot of us in the Initiative. Some of my best friends are Krogan. That's right. I didn't want to leave the Nexus, but I needed to support my people and my clan. So you have problems at the colony? It's heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? Hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus. That much we know. Drak trusts Morda, and I trust Drak. Hearn, Morda's leading the colony for a reason. She's tough, but that's good. You're not there, Drak. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. You might be underestimating yourselves. Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. We need the Krogan, and the Krogan need us. We all came to an eye to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morda ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planning. Talk to Ravenar Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen. <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll, uh... Alright, gi give me a second. I'm getting, I'm getting signaled. Somebody needs to talk to me. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> like I said, I got, uh... I got, got signaled, uh, to, to have a short little discussion about something. It's, uh... I don't bore anyone with the details, but, uh... Yeah. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go to the Krogan... Uh, place. So, Elodin. Charming so far. What do we got? Besides the sand. The Revenant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned? Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. Here, scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is New Tachanka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes? Sounds fun. Not really. Elodin is tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death, as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. That sounds and pleasant. on that cheery note, let's head for the climate-controlled paradise of the Nomad. Alright, let's go over to New Chachanka. Yeah, I'll grab those memory triggers on my own time. That's not important. Memory trigger, eh, forward station, Turian arc. Memory trigger again. Ah, come on. Yeah, we'll read that email from PB soonish. Bam. So you seem pretty anti Nexus, even for a Krogan. That's your job around here, noticing things. My job is to watch Ryder's back. Who watches yours? Guess we'll find out, big guy. You know, I... I'm saying this... I really... I mean, I don't keep saying this. Actually, I can't remember the last time I talked about this. Either way, I... I've read a lot of places that people found the companions in this game to be fairly boring. Which, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't necessarily not see. I mean, I think they're all kind of stereotypical, but I still like them. Um, you know, I mean, I like Drac, I like PB, I like Korra. Vetra grew on me. I wasn't a big fan of her at the beginning. The only one I'm not a huge fan of is Liam. 
I don't know why I find him so boring. Levels increasing. Although I do think a big problem that this game dug into the sand. So, Morda's still pissed off at the Nexus. You'll want to be careful around her, kid. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. They're Krogan. They can live anywhere. You know, problem with this game is kind of a problem that I had with uh, ME3, and that's the just just the sheer lack of um, companions. And there's like I think there was deploying forward stage five in Mass Effect Three. So there's six in this one. It just, I don't know. It just seems like that's really few. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Thank you, Sam. Ambient temperature is normal. Move along. No outsiders. He's with me, human Pathfinder. Drac. It's been a while. Jorgal Strux sent me. I'm supposed to talk with Morda. So now Strux is friends with the Nexus. Traitor. Think I'm a traitor, too. Shut it, Breck. Don't make me headbutt you. I absolutely will. Oh, tougher than you look. All right, go ahead. I'll spread the word so Morda knows you're here. Good. Like I said, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that one in another video. But for now, let's go. This guy, Hark. With Dr. O'Kear's data was right next to the script. It's worse than Dr. Kanar. I'll track it down. You mean out of the Sea of Ataraxia? Jesus. Drac, sir, you're here. Settle down a second, Hark. Sorry, this is just more excitement than I'm used to. I tracked the stolen transport to one of Elodin's moons. You need to take your ship. Nothing we've got has stealth. How did they steal the transport? I had the security system off while I was transferring a new sample and, well, they snuck in from the far side. Morda thinks Vorn took transport for a sample run. I didn't tell her otherwise. If she finds out what really happened, she'll fry your quads over a low fire. I know. Thank you so much for helping me. Let's go. My coordinates should drop you just close enough to sneak in. What are we walking into? A group of Nexus exiles. They're hiding out in an old complex up there. Nexus exiles? Friends of yours, Drac? We made a lot of friends during the mutiny. Guess we'll find out. Alright, I like my weapons and my armor. Nah, the Asari sword does more damage, so we'll keep that and everything else. So let's uh, let's roll. Let's keep our visit a surprise as long as possible. Until we shoot them all, right, Ryder? Yes, Drac. Until we shoot them all. <laughs> This place is a dump. Shoddy security. They should be embarrassed. They don't even have a lookout on the back door. Most people wouldn't complain. Be nice to have some kind of challenge. It's the least they could do, making us come all the way out here to kick their sorry asses. Over there. Guessing that's the colony's transport? 
Yeah, that's it. The Seed Vault better still be on board. And if it's not? I tear this place and everyone in it apart until we find it. It's a plan. Come on. This place is a dump. Told you so. These guys are barely worth the ammo. just warming up yeah but will they get it together before I die of boredom around we got a problem get it together stop them Did I hear a roll? Yeah. You think Spender's involved? Did it explain how they got the codes to the transport? A roll. We're gonna have a friendly little chat, you and I. Looks like someone's holding a grudge. I'll teach him a thing or two about how to hold it. Yeah, I see you. Bang! <laughs> about time they got organized. You get way too happy with people shooting you. <laughs> Giving shield to this. A lot of interference down here. Find your quads yet? Why I could scan that locked gate, I don't know, but uh, oh well. Or... Stop by. 
fighting and fight, you quadless bastards! about it when we're not being shot at. Yeah, because that, you know, happens. path on the other side. Maybe if we move this, we can get through. <laughs> Just one arms it. They're falling back to the building. Like that's gonna help. Hello, can you hear me out there? I know that voice. It's our botanist, Vorn. Pathfinder, Drac, it's you. No wonder the pirates said they need reinforcements. Why are you here? I was on the ship doing inventory when the pirates stole it. It happened so fast I couldn't warn anyone. Right, quit messing around and get down here. I would, but I had to lock myself in one of the containers to keep them away. Pretty sure they want me dead right now. Of course, they're warming up for liftoff. Huh. We don't have time for this. Guess they figured out why we're here. We can't let them get away. Colony's doomed without the vault on that transport. They're hunkering down over there. Transport or Vorn. We've got to make a move here. Oh. Ah! Drac, focus. This is your colony. What do you want to do? Without Vorn, the seeds in the vault are useless. We get him first. Vorn, we're headed your way. Wait, someone's that entire magazine is blowing that one guy away. Enough, dude. Back in my day, Krogan asked for permission before they went in and started courting. They didn't just hop into things without the proper clan traditions. They're wrong. Get over here so we can talk. I don't think so, Krogan. Stealing a transport was just step one. We're gonna destroy everything you care about. There's only one thing getting destroyed here today, and that's you, and this place, and also your boss. 
and probably your entire crew. So a lot of things are getting destroyed here, actually, and all of them are yours. So, so ineloquent. But I love it. I born, then the transport, then I deal with the wrong. Never mentioned uh, botanist. Kids real good at making things grow. But he has no survival instincts at all. Miracle oh, made it to adulthood. 25,000 Born, update. They're just shooting at the door. So far it's not doing much. Come on. Coming. Bang. I think you're getting closer. Here's some health. <laughs> we gotta go through that door. Born's comm signal is up there. I'm in the container Whatever this right. place is, Wait, it's been abandoned right. for a long You're time. Right. All Over here. Something like that. He was going to shoot you. The colony can survive just fine without me. But without you and what's in your full head, there's no future for our people. You're always talking like you're expendable, but you're not. We need you. You're not just some old soldier. We know what we lost, because you lived it! I need to get some stuff before we go. You talk to him. Giving everything for your people takes a strong will. The kid doesn't get I have to put my life on the line sometimes. Doesn't he have the right to take the same risks for your sake? Quads, not you too. We don't have time for this. We have a transport to get. I'm ready to go. You, you stay right here. I'm not telling Cash you died like an idiot. Yeah, this'll do. Incoming! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just runs through the door. Up track. The seat bolt is still on the transport. I hit the locks before they caught me. Good thinking with those locks, Vaughn. Thank you, sir. Don't get too cocky. You still got caught. Yes, sir. 30,000 credits. The bounty is now at 30,000 credits.
it sucks to be him right now. Looks like a mech suit. There's the transport. Born, override the controls and keep the docking clamps shut. We'll cover you. Okay! You wanna know what my favorite part about Drac Never is? Mind about it. Just kill them all! I really, really love that uh Like the the little uh, little right, scales that are his goatee. They look like little, little little claws or teeth or something. Looks like we're done here. Don't move! You! Uh. 
I'm taking this transport. You're gonna get yourself killed if you do this. Like I'm not dead the moment that crazy old Krogan gets his hands on me. I'm not the one you need to worry about right now. Why is Vorn... Oh my god! <coughs> wait, wait! Don't come any closer! It'll affect anyone who isn't Krogan. It's pretty strong stuff. Time to take out the trash. First live specimen test. Doesn't last long, but it sure works fast. We need to know what Spender's up to. Besides, there's gotta be a line somewhere. Figured you'd say that. Fine. Take him back to the Nexus it is. It's still not nearly as fun as dropping him. I'll take your word for it. I'll tell you everything I know. Shut up, you quadless little shit. We're letting you live for now. I like that term, quadless little shit. Let's get this transport back to where it belongs. If anybody out there doesn't know, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know if this is necessary or not, but, you know, the whole idea of, you know, quadless, the, te the Krogans have four testicles, and not two, like humans, so it's the quads. We are not having this conversation. I don't know. So, yeah. No harm hearing him out. So, yeah, that's I just, uh... I hate you all. Let me be old and cranky in peace already. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just in the event. In the event that somebody out there is their first Mass Effect game. Colony. Thanks for helping me get the colony transport back, Ryder. Of all the stupid things. That's life on the frontier for you. You should have just let me kill own. Would have been simpler, safer. He's more useful alive than dead. Makes sense, I suppose. I can still kill him later. Exactly. I can't wait to nail Spender to the wall. Sooner or later, we'll take him down. Just like our own. Hopefully sooner. I have plans for him. Oh, listen to me, Ryder. You've been around me long enough to realize this. The fact is, I'm a relic, a symbol of the past, when Krogan were bent on destroying themselves. Fighting, killing, it's all I know. For my clan, for Kesh, to have a real future, maybe it's best I'm not part of it. Fighting is pretty useful out here, in case you hadn't noticed. So, the old man still has some use, you think? Just remember who you're encouraging. <laughs> Uh, uh track. All right, guys. You know what? We'll uh, we'll close this one up. We'll return uh, over to Nexus Control, but I'm actually gonna cut over there. Uh, a to save some time, just because I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be after I uh, do the editing. But uh, the other reason is I need to get up and use the bathroom. So uh, I will uh, do my sign off now, and we'll uh, like I said, head back to the Nexus. Uh, take care of all that. Uh, so thanks so much for watching, everybody. As always, Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links to all those are down in the description below. Remember to like, comment. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time, guys. But until then, I'm AJ Gales. This is the Umpire Gaming Channel. I'm out. Drac will want to see this.
I'm worried about this place. If they can't find you, then we defend the station. We've got everything we need on Spender. I've been waiting for this moment for nearly a year. Ready? Let's go confront Spender. Be nice to bring his head back to Morda on a pike, you know, as a gift. I'm seriously tempted to let you do that. You better not be joking, because I absolutely will. I didn't have a choice. Arone said they'd kill me. You helped the mutineers, Spender. That was a choice right there. All you had to do was ask for help. Instead, you put everyone else at risk to save yourself. Please, incriminate yourself further. Tell us everything they made you do. What do you know, Pathfinder? You weren't there during the mutiny. You're done now, buddy, and with any luck, they'll give you to me. Everything the Pathfinder's saying is true. Here's the proof. A scrambler packed with logs and credit transfers to exiles. This has been going on since the mutiny. He's been altering files, stealing supplies, communicating with them. We have a confession from Arone, one of the exiles. Arone. On the record this time. We've been working with Spender since the mutiny. He armed us. And now he keeps us supplied. As long as we keep heat on the Krogan. I don't know why he hates them. But he really hates them. I can't even begin to fathom the damage he's responsible for. Like your hands are clean, Kandros? We all wanted the Krogan gone. I just made it easier. The Exiles think I work for them, just like you think I work for you. That's what real politics looks like. Right under our noses. God damn it, Spender! The Krogan left. Spender played both sides just to get a promotion. You couldn't have seen that coming. No. No, I was given ample reasons to suspect something. I just chose not to. Tan was on my ass about the Krogan so much, I let myself be blind to Spender. You're getting a chance to fix this now. Let's start with taking our side when my clan tries to negotiate a better deal with Tan. You need us, and frankly, we need you. You're right. I'll back you up. We'll do it right this time. So, what about him? Kick him off the station. Let his friends out there deal with him. What? No, you can't do that. They'll kill me. Your pirate friends are the least of your worries. Thanks, Ryder. You have no idea how glad I am this business is settled. <laughs>